What's up, you guys? You know what time it is. It is Motivational Monday. Over the weekend, my girls were sharing some of their work with me. I was so amazed at their gifts and how much they have matured and how they have grown that I decided to take the time to encourage my babies. Halfway throughout our conversation, I just decided to record the rest because I do understand that not everyone is encouraged. And I knew that whatever message I was delivering to them would have been very beneficial to someone else. One thing that I've noticed about my girls in particular is my oldest daughter, Tootie. She took on more of the quiet, preserved, artistic side of me. She loves art, she loves poetry, and she is a deep thinker. Ladybug, on the other hand, she took on that side of me that in my younger years, I was always afraid to show. She's very outgoing. She loves to sing. She loves to dance. She has that spark within to where if she doesn't know how to do something, she will learn, even if she has to teach herself. So I've seen this in my girls at a young age. And ever since, I've just been trying to instill in them the value, the importance of who they are. Yes, singing is poetry. The beauty with you is you can sing. You can take all of that beautiful poetry and you can play it back with your voice, with a tune. You, on the other hand, you have the imagination that is out of this world. You can take all of that imagination, put it on that piece of paper, and play it back and allow your imagination to become everyone else's. Same way with your artwork. You can take what you see in your mind, put it on paper, and allow other people to see what you see. That's beauty. What about you, Mom? What about me? I plan to live out loud. So I plan to take everything that I am and let it speak for itself. And that's the same as living outside of the box. You want to know why I don't like being in a box? Because I can't be put in a box. That dough that you put in a box and sit in the oven, well, as the temperature rises, I begin to rise. And I'm going to bust up out of that <laughs> box. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me? Yeah. Don't let nobody put y'all in a box. Not even me. Do you hear me? Yes, not even me. It's going to come a time where I may not be here. And I don't want y'all to go through our life hiding who you are. You think the fact that you can sing, that's just something that you just stumbled across? Huh? No. No, little girl. You were blessed with a gift. And you're going to utilize that gift. Do you hear me? You. You're going to use your gift. You're going to draw. You're going to paint. You're going to put everything that you feel on paper. You're going to live out loud. And you're going to sing out loud. Y'all going to be somebody. And I'm not talking about famous. You're going to leave such an impression on the world that people are going to know your name. You're not going to blend in. You can't be blended. You were not made to be blended. No, I'm serious. 
Neither one of us was made to blend in. Everyone was born with their own uniqueness. Everyone was born with their own identity. And you don't let nobody take that from you. Your life depends on it. You may not think it's serious, but it is. Because when you become just like everybody else, you die. So your life does depend on it. When you allow people to make you be quiet, when you have something to say, when you allow people to make you feel like you're not good enough, guess what you're doing? You're dying. Because when you only do what people want you to do, you hide who you are. Therefore, you die. You become everything that others want you to be. Is that who you are? So where are you? If that's not who you are, where are you? You died. Is it possible to let others live while you live too? Yes. So why should you have to die in order for people to like you? Hmm? You shouldn't. Because if you can allow people to come around you and be themselves, they should allow you to be yourself. If they don't allow you to be yourself, it's as if you're willing to hang around a murderer, someone who is willing to kill you to make themselves happy. You get what I'm saying? We don't look at it that way, but that's the way it is. Every time you look in the sky, you'll never find what's inside for love. You'll never, ever, ever have a love tell me the truth. You will say I'm proud for you. I, 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 you fly me so I watch me fly, I, I, to the sky. I oh, am ready for the chance, and you will grant it the night. So I hope that this message will be of an encouragement to you, if not to you, someone that you may know. Thank you so much for watching, especially for listening. Y'all have a blessed week.